Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we need chromatic iron. We are just almost completely out. We've got like less than 20 to our name. And to help out with that, I found an awesome bounty. Check this out. If we complete a scav hunt, we get 116. The only problem is we need to mine 37 painite ore first. No, get it out of here. I'm, I'm just abandoning it. I know there's six gold. I know we could use it, but oh my gosh, 116 as well as the steel and the diamonds and the kiwis. Um, This one's killed drowned. I'm going to re-roll it and we'll see. Maybe it's maybe it'd be really good too. I'm only going to re-roll it once because it costs 190, 190, 100 and... 129. Oh my gosh. What was that? 129. Complete a vault. Yeah. Complete any vault for even more. Woohoo. Hey. How, how long has this been off center? How long has my waystone been off center? Has it been off center the entire series? No. What? Has it, has it really? Is it centered now? Oh, no. It's been off center the entire series. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, I've been feeling a little lonely in the vaults. I have to admit. I have. I've been feeling a little lonely. And I think you guys have seen the title. I want to make an eternal. I want to make an eternal to help us with our vaults and our vault completions. And lo and behold, we have three unspent skill points to invest in to summon eternal. So definitely can do that. What is an Eternal? It's a little guy. It's a summon. You can bring them into the vault, and they'll fight for you. To start, we're going to need a Cryo Chamber, which either costs an insane amount of Chromatic Steel, or not an insane amount of Chromatic Steel. I'm going to go with that version of it. First, we're going to need a Pog, which we can make many of, and then I'm pretty sure because of all the Black Chromatic we've gotten from Treasure Rooms, bam, Cryo Chamber. Easy peasy. To actually make an Eternal, we need 100 Eternal Souls. Yes, 100. What you do with them is you pop down your Cryo Chamber, and this is a permanent thing. You only need one of these, which is nice. Uh, you can either right-click them in, but I'm going to use a hopper because, you know, it's 100. I don't want it to sit here. And they're slowly going to be turned into the Cryo Juice. Yep. And it's going to take a while. While that's going on, we can build the Eternal Pedestal, which is now two pa- Wait, do we not have- Oh, hold on, I might not even be able to make the Chromatic Iron- No, no, oh no, really? Really? No! No! We can't even make an Eternal! That's how poor we are! Ah! <laughs> oh, we're so broke! Alright, we gotta get into a vault, we gotta get more Chromatic Iron. Before we jump in, I do want to see this finish because it turns into, like, it turns into the guy. And uh, we're pretty close. Almost done now. I love how this looks. I love, like, the, the ghost dude who gets, like, sucked up into it. Kind of funny. Come on now. Almost there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's it going to be? It's going to be a little guy. Well, it's going to be a regular sized guy, I suppose. Ah, a mephilet! Ooh, nice skin. Well, can't do anything with mephilet right now, I'm pretty sure. In the old version... Oh. Uh, hi there. Uh, I guess we just have a ghost of mephilet in our base. I'll just shove him over here. There you go. Nice and stylish. Yeah, in the old version, you used to be able to interact directly with them inside the cryo chamber, and each cryo chamber is where you'd house them. But now you need that eternal pedestal. I'll bring up the recipe again. It's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive, but definitely worth it. Eternals are cool. But first, we have a vault. Ooh, wealthy and a scav. Oh, perfect. Uh, hard to complete scav, fully honest. But, and I don't think this is a raw cave either. I, I don't think we can actually get a, what is it called? Oh, I'm blanking on it. A chromatic iron room. But we can get the chromatic iron we need from chests. And I would like to see if we can complete this vault. I mean, possibly not impossible. Difficult, but not impossible. The blood vials are going to be really easy to get, actually, because of wealthy. So it's kind of nice. 
And then obviously wooden chest stuff is never that big of a concern. It seems like the only thing we have to really worry about is the sack. The sack I can see ruining this whole endeavor. Uh-oh. Where did that come from? I truly have no idea where it came from, but it was scary and I- Hey, 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 hey. Aha! There's the bugger. Wah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was cool. With speed three, we'll definitely be running through the rooms fast enough. I just hope we get lucky. Oh, what a- That's a neat looking ore POI. Must be one of the new ones. Wow, it's big too. Oh, there's like mine carts on it. It's like a mini mine room. Cute. Well, you do gotta get ores no matter what. That's how you progress in the game, so it's worth it. And even more ores. Ooh. Hello, Gorgonite and Black Opal and Benny Boys. Oh, wow. Whoa, this is a huge one. Yeah, this definitely must be uh, one of the new ones. Wow, even more ores in this one room and another giant one. Oh, this must be one of the new, like, ore common rooms. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember in the patch notes that not only do they add a bunch of new ore POIs, but there's, like, common rooms specifically oriented, <laughs> oriented, uh, around having a bunch of ores in them. Ooh, a Wendar altar. These guys take mana now. <gasps> and we get a favor? What? Thank you, Wendar. That is actually a really rare chance. Well, look at that. That's very lucky. That means in the next vault we run, we're going to get a buff from Wendar, the god of mana, I suppose. Used to be the god of time, but that kind of sucked having to give up your time. So now he does mana. More ores. Oh, I have to. I need some ornates, if you know what I'm saying. Ha. <laughs> Ooh, ornates. If we get a sack here, this is pretty much this vault done and over with. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, lucky. Uh, are we already done with the vault, I wonder? Uh, six, we need one more of those. We need a bunch more of those. We need a bunch more of those. But that is all not going to be very difficult. Okay. So, a little bit more black mob essence, which we can easily get from the Skella Boys and the Ghosty Goos. And we need some more, what was it? It was the zombie hide, but that is also pretty easily acquired. And then we need more coin stuff. And considering this is a coin or a wealthy vault, and we still have 16 minutes left, and I believe this bottom floor alone has two coin POIs, I think we're okay. Whoa, look at this horde of mobs. Uh oh Wait, is that a tier two skeleton with a bow? Oh dear. Okay, there's another black mob essence, though. Oh, and there's another skeleton. But not with a bow. All right, here we go. Slowness cloud, yes. All right, there's the archer. Whoa. Whew. That was stressful. Ooh, another Wendar. Nice. Boop. Oh, sounds like there's stuff on the walls. Could mean a dungeons nearby. Dungeons usually come with plenty of skele boys. Plenty of ghosty goos. Aha! Maybe I'll just stand here and farm off the guys. Eh, probably a bad idea. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna just Yeah! <laughs> cool. Okay, now I jump down here. And whack him. Oh. This might be tough. What? Do I even have to kill these guys? Could I just... Oh. Yeah. Eh, have fun down there, guys. Alright, eight minutes. One more black mob essence. That cannot be hard. Oh, especially not in a bumbo room. There's gonna be spiders oozing out of the walls here. Spiders and creepers. Both, uh, both things that ooze out of the walls, and I probably should not like the... Yeah. I think that was just the creeper dropping it, too. Uh, break it. No! Hmm. But now I want to loot this room. Because I need gildeds. That sweet, sweet dreamstone. All these rooms are so great, but they're so scary. Okay, hold on. I really want to loot these gilded chests, because we just got to. I'm telling you. 
Dreamstone, man. It's so good. We already, by the way, I've been building catalysts off camera, right? I just, I feel like I don't have to show off every single catalyst I infuse. And we have now... Oh, please don't. No, please, no! No! Ah! Oh, that's so frustrating! Ah! <sighs> Dang it, I just wasted so much of my time, and we still don't have the chromatic eye. Ah! It's so annoying, and now I gotta heal up first, and brr, 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 brr. That, mm, I'm mad at myself. I could have just taken it. Could have just taken it, and now we're, now this vault's impossible. I mean, wow. It's not even a scav vault. It's wild. Oh. Thanks, Wendar. Oh, a mana pylon, I think. Is the man a pylon? Yeah. Very helpful. Let's switch back to our speed guy. These pylons are cool. Ooh, village room. Yeah, not, uh, not gonna do that. Last challenge room I did didn't go very well. And, I mean, as much as I really do need the living... Ah, oh, there could be a portal. Hold on. I have ender eyes on me, so if there's a portal, it's worth it to check it out. Portal? There's two. I see. So it's that, so it's that kind of vault, huh? Alright, alright. We'll do it, we'll do it this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we have, we have two ender eyes. We have more than two. Just gonna have to bap that down. And just kind of wait for the silverfish to burn up. Oh, okay, the silverfish aren't getting to me anytime soon. Okay, so, alright. All right, I guess this vault wants to make up for last vault. Well, this vault wants to make up for my stupidity in the last vault. As I died because of my own fault. Oh, yes. I love taking these apart. We're going to get so much knowledge essence, which is great because the mods we want, man, not cheap. Not cheap, even at all or a little. Okay, and now mine room V2. Mine room V2. Portal room V2. I didn't know portal rooms could still spawn in doubles in the 118 edition. I, I've never seen it before. Oh, yeah. There's Omegas in there. All right. Two portal rooms. Hard to be... Eh? Hard to be so grumpy after getting two portal rooms. But my grumpiness knows no bounds. So, whoa! That certainly would have made me grumpy. <laughs> We need Dona Altar. How many kills? Nine? Sure. Whoa! We got an idol? <gasps> That's rare. Okay. All right. Yeah. It makes me feel a little better, too. Thanks. Thanks, Vault Hunters. Oh, dear. How did that even get there? Hmm? How, how did a drowned get to exactly where I was standing? How does that happen? Get me out of this room. Ah, uh, it's like sour and then sweet and then sour and then sweet and then it kills me. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Vault Hunters. No, really. Oh, just rubbing it in, are we? Mm, okay. Just gonna skip it. Not even gonna try. Not, not even gonna try. You've broken me. My spirit. My indomitable human spirit. Not so indomitable after all. Oh, trinket. What is this? What is this back and forth? What is this back and forth of, of insulting me? Insulting me directly to my face. And then the best luck I've had in the game for a while. A trinket. Yes. That's amazing. I, I feel like the, the vault, this vault specifically exists only, only to hurt me. Only to make me feel bad when I praise it and to make me feel bad when I am mad at it. I, I don't get it. I'm being tested again, aren't I? One of my many vault god tests. Get off of me. Wow, three omegas. My gosh. Ah. Uh-oh, that's two nice things in a row. Oh, what's going to happen next? All right, I'm going to head one right of the main track, and I'm going to just, I'm going home. I got my idol. I got my trinket. I got, I'm um, sure, various other decent pieces of loot. No reason to even try to complete the vault and just get out of here. Loot anything that looks interesting along the way, but 
Obviously, don't get greedy because then you die with everything you need to complete a vault and a bounty because, you know, you're all like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I need chromatic iron for today's YouTube idea. And, and then you're irresponsible and then you squander it by killing yourself. All righty. Pretty good for a shameful redo vault. Pretty good indeed. Well, no reason to leave it in trinket unrolled form, so let's just see. I hope we get something new. I'm cool. Chromatic powder and an Edona idol. Hunger immunity. Huh. I feel like we could roll that a bit, actually. I feel like we could roll that a bit. Reduces vault gear damage by 50%. <gasps> yes. That is a very good. That is, that is really, 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 really nice. I'm going to keep this on, by the way, because it still gives me the max mana in the overworld. 50% less damage. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now, time acceleration immunity. That's not bad. That's not bad because we have catalysts that have voiding on them. Uh, I think living and voiding here and extended and voiding. But this idol would make us immune. Not bad at all. Also, does it say tier 7? Oh my gosh. That must be pretty rare. You can... You can double your raw... Cr no. No, no, this whole time. This whole time I could have doubled it? This whole time I could have doubled... No! No! Oh, really? Really? This whole time? Ah! Well, at least we have enough resources to finally make our eternal uh, pedestal. Eternal plate? No, eternal pedestal. Okay. I'm going to set him up right here. Right here, so I can always see him. I think you need an offhand to pick these guys up. Yep, just like a multiplayer soul. There we are. Hello, Mephodit. Ooh. Cool looking guy. All right. 15, almost 16 health. Oh, this is an eternal, by the way. Welcome. They have a bunch of stats. They're very cool. Ooh, a 2.0 speed. I think that's pretty good, actually. Uh, 16 health is a little low and 1.1 damage, I think, is all right. Of course, they're not wearing any gear and they don't have any upgrades. So these right here, we can choose from some auras. An aura of weakness, an aura of haste, or an aura of speed. Yes, I will have the aura of speed. Thank you. That's amazing. So now whenever we summon this guy in the vault, uh, he'll give us another level of speed if we're next to him. We can change the skin. We can make him, I guess we can make him a Steve skin. Uh, or we could change the name up here. Like, uh, I think, uh, let's go Grian. Everyone knows Grian. There we go. And that'll cycle the skin. I guess he could, he could be us. He could be a mini-me. Yeah, I'll have him be a mini-me. The speediest mini-me in the world. Now we need to get this guy some Valk gear. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, never mind. We have a bunch in here. Uh, oh, there we go. That's health and armor. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, that's pretty good right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Picking from the scraps. I don't think Valk gear takes damage while on Eternals still, so we can use whatever Valk gear we want. Ooh. This weapon. Yes. It may not have chaining with that poison club. Whoa. <laughs> A rootin' tootin' cowboy clockwork man. Yeah. I love him. That looks really cool, actually. I like having a statue of ourselves. It's almost like a way to display your favorite armor sets or just a general form of vanity. Oh, and they're level zero. But I think we can level them up with burgers. Since we just ran that incredible living chest vault, we can make a few burgers. So, will they eat a burger? Oh, cool. I will feed them a little bit of burgers. I'm thinking we want this guy to be fast, right? Oh, that's weird. The text box renders below the damage. Interesting. We want him to be fast. So let's give him, like, up to level 3 and just speed, speed. And then I want to get to level 34. Hopefully this is actually enough burgers. Hope I didn't overfeed my eternal.
Awesome. 34 and then all of them into this guy. All right, level four. Um, I suppose we could put a little bit into health, but that's almost nothing. Anything I did, eh. Honestly, I feel like the speed's just the best one to keep going into. Yeah, we want this guy to be swift, speedy, and amazing. And now we have four unspent skill points. And sure, I could put those into the strength, but I'm gonna be honest. I, I want to see what Eternals are. Okay, so one Eternal, he lasts for 60 seconds or until he dies. The cooldown's 30 and it costs 50 mana. The next one reduces the cooldown by one second. Okay, but I know you can get more Eternals as you level it up. Two seconds... Okay, cool. So on the next level, we could summon a second Eternal. Though that's not actually worth it right now because we don't have a second Eternal. So I had no reason to invest all those skill points. Good thing I have unlearned. Woohoo! And you know what? I do want strength. So I'm going to make an orb frame. I think we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, another extraordinary Benny from, I, th I think, another treasure room? And we can now pick up that sweet street. Ba boom strength. Ba boom Yeah, we're so strong now. We do so much damage. We really do. And this guy does so much damage. I mean, look at that. 30. Almost 30 damage. What's our DPS? Well, it's 74. Holy. But this guy's still going to be really good. Okay, I have got our eternal guy all bound to a key. And I also think that now that we're level 34... We can find runes in a chest, or in the gilded chest. So that's really exciting, because runes allow us to create our own vaults. Yep, you heard me right. But we'll get into that once we have the runes to actually use it on. I'm going to keep this Edona. And uh, we don't need our immunity guy. Got to put this guy back on. All right, mini-me. You and I are going to do some great things. Well... Gilded is great. Gilded, Gilded's awesome because, you know, I just said we might be able to get runes. Nether theme. Well, it's a good thing we have an Eternal now, huh? Nether theme is a lot harder. Let's check if there's any monos in this room. Nope. All right. Treading carefully. Treading very carefully. Uh, some. All right. Th this will be. All righty. Let's do it. Come on. Go. Oh boy, he does not have a lot of health. I should have invested more into health. I should have I should have invested way more into health. Oh, but it's he's so fast. He's so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was cool. This is cool. All right, all right. So we need to invest a lot more into health into this guy, which is great cuz hey, living chests, right? More burgers, which means more health for the mini me. Don't worry, buddy. Um even if you die, I can revive you. Hmm. He is pretty low level, isn't he? Okay. All right. All right. So we definitely, we need to invest into a lot more levels. Got it. Got it. But we're learning, right? We're learning how it works. Also, these vaults are terrifying. Is, is that a wither skeleton? Is that the Grim Reaper? Oh, and he's unalived. Unfortunately, that means we cannot summon him. Oh, did he sacrifice his life fighting, fighting the terrifying wither skeleton? Thank you, mini me. Thank you. Oh, I'm so lonely and afraid. I wish I had my Eternal. I miss him already. Ah, ah you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this vault. I'm done with this theme. Get me out. I'm not finishing it. I can't. It's too scary. I'm too scared. The piglins are scary. The fire dogs are scary. Oh, fire dog! I don't like it. Oh. Zero XP. <laughs> Oh, he's sad, because I killed him by not leveling him up at all. Oh, it's depressing. All right, let, let me let me, let me, me get him back to life. It's really easy. You just need a life scroll, like so, very cheap, and you just feed it to the poor guy. ba -da! He's back up. Whoa! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Okay, hey, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm proud of myself. I treated myself. I deserved it. Okay? That is self-care, ladies and gentlemen. Blank key from the thing. Ah! Huh? Oh, I was, I was planning. Oh, what? Huh? Huh? Wow! Ah! Uh, 
uh, trap disarm sucks, but I'm not gonna risk nullifying any of this. Oh my gosh! Just oh my god! Whoa! I look so cool! Oh, I look like I look like I'm from Pacific Rim. <laughs> what an amazing end to the video! That is that's that's all the time. I'm probably way over time. I shouldn't have even done that. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how I am. Tell me, tell me if you do you love me. Don't, don't, don't keep that in the video. Don't keep that in the video.